Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about prepomics. This time I will show you how to solve a stress concentration problem using submodeling. Let's create a new model first, so define the unit system of meters and I will import the geometry. Uh, I will choose this first part uh, because today we will use two uh, step files. I will explain this later on. Mm, and that's the model that we want to analyze. As you can see, it's a plate or thin strip with a hole in the middle. Uh, and we utilize symmetry here, uh, so we only analyze a quarter of, the pla of this plate. Uh, that's the, the, the whole uh, structure that we want to analyze, subjected to tension on both sides. And we analyze just this piece uh, right here. And uh, you can see that mm, what we want to uh, get uh, from this analysis is stress concentration in this uh, area. Uh, okay. Uh, so now I can tell you uh, what submodeling actually is. Uh, it's a very useful technique uh, that allows you to focus on the region of a larger model. Basically, you start with a model of the whole structure with rather coarse mesh, and then you create a separate analysis with a small part of the structure and refined mesh. Uh, special boundary conditions uh, transfer the results from the global model to the submodel. And there are two types of submodeling. Uh, the first one is surface-based, where stresses are transferred, and the second one is node-based, where displacements are transferred. In this case, we'll use the node-based submodeling, since that's the one available in Prepomex. Okay, so let's uh, get to the analysis setup. Uh, we'll set the uh, global model first. Mm, so I can uh, define the meshing parameters. Uh, this will be uh, 3.5 millimeters for maximum element size, and I will create the mesh. As you can see, the mesh is very coarse, but that, that, that's the point here. Uh, we want to refine this uh, later on using some modeling. Uh, so let's uh, define a material. Mm, I will use uh, standard uh, properties for steel. Uh, you may know them from our previous videos. So that's the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. And I will create a new section, solid section, applied to the whole part. Mm, and I have to define a step as well. This will be static step with default settings. And uh, now I have to apply boundary conditions. Let's start from symmetry. So basically this surface right here will be constrained in X direction. Uh, now this uh, surface here will be constrained in Y direction. Uh, and uh, now I just have to mm, fix uh, one uh, vertex here. And uh, this will be fixed in Z direction to avoid uh, rigid body motions. That's it for boundary conditions. Now I can define load. Mm, this plate will be loaded with surface traction. I will apply this to this edge, to this surface. Mm, and uh, you can see that we use only uh, part of this plate. Uh, so we can't use full load, which is 10,000 newtons, uh, because we only have half of this edge uh, or surface in the 3D. Uh, so basically we have to define uh, 5,000 newtons uh, of this uh, tensile force. Mm, okay, that's it for the setup of this analysis. And uh, one more thing that I will do before submitting this simulation, uh, I will name the mm, analysis here. Mm, I will name this concentration uh, global, and uh, we will use this later uh, in submodel analysis. Let's confirm this and uh, run the analysis. It won't take uh, long, as you can see, it's already available. The results are already there, um, and we can examine the stresses. As you can see, we'll query this, the stresses uh, around here are not very accurate. I'll show you the, the analytical solution. Uh, here's the analytical solution. As you can see, the stresses are uh, a bit off uh, from the uh, value that we want to get. Uh, so that's why we will use submodeling. Of course, we could also refine the mesh only in this region and do this in one analysis. Uh, but uh, that's not the point. Uh, I want to show you the submodeling technique, uh, which can be used in, in various cases, not just uh, simple ones like this. Mm, but uh, this example, I think that it's a uh, good way to, to show you how this technique actually works. And that's why we we'll use it here instead of uh, simple mesh refinement. Okay, let's save this. Uh, I will name this concentration global and save. And now I'll create a new model. Again, the same unit system and I will import the geometry. This time this will be the part uh, right here, uh, submodel mm, geometry. As you can see, it's the same model, but divided into two regions. Uh, this region here is sub the submodel, and that's the rest used just for the visualization. We'll la later import it to the results. Uh, but we won't uh, use this uh, part of the model in the analysis itself. Okay, so let's uh, create a mesh. Uh, I will mesh this part um, using one millimeter for uh, maximum element size. And I will create a mesh now. 
Uh, and as you can see, only this part was taken to the next tab. Uh, this uh, unmeshed part wasn't, so uh, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Mm, now uh, let's define the submodel analysis. Uh, first thing that I have to do is edit the, uh, the model properties and specify the type of analysis to submodel. And this will take the results from concentration global file, uh, FRD, that's the extension. And let's uh, confirm this. And now I will and define the uh, material first, uh, the same as in the previous analysis. Uh, so I will use uh, exactly the same properties. Mm, and I will also define a section, apply this to the part. And I have to define a step, uh, the same one. Uh, and uh, I have to uh, redefine uh, the boundary condition that was applied uh, to this region. Uh, because in submodeling um, you have to redefine the loads and boundary conditions and the initial conditions that were applied to the uh, region of interest, the, the one that we analyze as, as a submodel. And the rest is, is not of uh, our interest uh, the, because it will be mm, transferred in form of those submodel boundary conditions that I will define in a moment. Uh, so mm, let's just uh, redefine this uh, symmetry boundary condition it was in x direction i can confirm this uh, and now i have to define some model boundary condition that's a special type here uh, and we'll define this on the on the surfaces that are connected to the global model basically that's uh, how we use it mm, and we will choose the three directions here uh, because solid elements have only translation degrees of freedom so we are not interested in rotations but we have to uh, import the translations uh, let's confirm this. Maybe I will also change the color mm, to distinguish this boundary condition from uh, regular uh, displacement BC here. So we can see that we applied boundary submodel boundary conditions to the two faces here. Uh, that's it for the for the setup. Uh, I will also rename this analysis uh, to uh, concentration uh, concentration uh, submodel. And uh, I can submit this analysis. It will take the results uh, from the uh, previous uh, simulation global model. And as you can see, uh, it uh, the results are already available. It took the results uh, from the uh, global analysis. Uh, and here are the stresses. Um, now we can use the query tool again and uh, check the stresses in the region of interest. Uh, and uh, you can already notice that they are very close to the analytical solution. Uh, I will remind you that the solution that we are looking for here is the, the analytical value uh, obtained from Peterson's stress concentration factors. Mm, and uh, that's very similar to what we got in this analysis. You can query this here and you can notice that uh, the results are very close to uh, what we are looking for. Uh, one more thing uh, that I can do is um, add this um, global part of the, of the global model to results, copy this. And here you can see that the results are sort of overlaid. Uh, and uh, you can notice that uh, we have not only the, the results here, but also the uh, remaining geometry. Uh, in this case, uh, the mm, geometry was simple, but with more complex cases, this could be useful. Uh, what's more, you can also use exploded view to uh, to separate those two parts and see how they are connected for the purpose of, of defining the uh, submodel boundary conditions. That's also quite useful. Uh, so mm, thank you very much for your attention. That's it for this uh, pre-POMEX tutorial. Uh, as always, feel free to ask any questions uh, and suggest topics for future tutorials in the comments. Uh, have a nice day and see you in the next video.